Hey guys, today is uh, January 2nd and uh, I'm gonna try to do a little more uh, interactive for my uh, YouTube channel this year, a little more, uh, you know, non-cut content, just more letting the camera roll and kind of talking and try to show you a little more what's, uh, what's going on and when you're a, a pool trick artist. Uh, I haven't played pool in actually a week, which is kind of a miracle, it almost never happens. So it was Christmas, New Year, it was just a busy family. This is actually the first time I'm gonna be able to practice in a week. As you can see, the table is covered, which hardly ever happens as well. So what we're gonna do is uh, we're just gonna kind of uncover the table, get ready, and start to go to my uh, practice drill. Um, I got a show in a couple show in Kansas coming up end of the week, so uh, I better get myself ready and try to do some good practice. So we'll see how it goes today. I'm just gonna let it roll and kind of talk into it. So yeah, as you can see, the table is still covered. Just gonna clean up everything here alright so uh, I would say in the comments too that a lot of people ask me what kind of table it is so it's a wrestling table, it's a 9 foot table and uh, it's a Simonis class 860 on it now what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my uh, wrist protection because I broke my wrist like a year ago playing pool too much Massey and it's still bugging me so I try to you know kind of restrain the movement here uh, I'm going to need another chalk so same thing here I got a little chalk holder it's a Kamui chalk chalk uh, Kamui chalk 1.21 gray uh, I put that right in my pocket there uh, next thing I use usually for practice is, uh, is my glove, so I just need a normal glove. Got a bunch of them here. I got a black one here. I'll do great for today. And uh, yeah, we're pretty much gonna go for it. So a lot of people also think you know balls are fake, or whatever. You know, it's really just normal balls. Got them in there. I've touched them for a while. And uh, we're just gonna go and uh, kind of warm up on this. So usually the first shots I do for my show is, uh, is jump shots because jump shots are pretty easy and you can control very well and it kind of warms you up. So all I need is a rack here and I'm going to bring a jump cube there. Alright, so the way I do it is, um, is I put like a, a butt on the table that way I can use all the balls there. And uh, I'm literally just trying to warm up when I do that shot. That's basically the first shot of my show. And I try to make, you know, jump these balls in the corner. And there's different, many different ways I can't imagine. So this is, you know, the normal way, just like that. So that's easy, you know, to practice. Move on the back. Easy as well. I keep going. Usually I can do it one, uh, one handed. It's pretty easy. I'm gonna keep doing. Let's keep that one here. Let's do one hand behind the neck. That's good. Uh, do one hand behind the back. Just like that. Uh, I'm gonna put the triangle back. Sometimes I got people holding the triangle so it doesn't move. Uh, what else do I got? I could do it under the leg. Let's do it like this. Pretty easy. Keep going. How about backward? Still pretty good, still going. How about uh, left handed, one handed? There you go, I'm gonna keep going now. I'm gonna put the triangle back again. Now I gotta think, so it's just you know, a few different things you could do. You could do it behind the neck like that. And if it's too easy, you could do it, let's say, backward, one handed maybe. That's pretty tough. See, that's the first miss of the day. So that's kind of normal. Tough shot here. So I'm gonna do it again. Kind of warm up on it. That's pretty good. Just didn't make it in the corner. Let's do one more. There we go. That's good. So that's normal. We know it's getting a little more difficult. Um, what else can I do? There's only two hand left handed. Just like that. If I didn't put the if I had a triangle in the correct spot, it would be good. Uh, sometimes I can also put like a little weight in there. 
I got one right here. There you go. Just uh, you know, literally, uh, it's a five pounds weight. I just put it inside the triangle, and uh, then we don't have to worry about moving the triangle anymore. So what do we get? So we did uh, left, right, behind the neck. Uh, sometimes I got people ask me to do it like that, which is really difficult. So basically, no hand. That's pretty tough, as you can see. So some days I make it, some days I don't. It's good practice. There you go. That's a pretty tough shot. That's pretty much it. Oh, sometimes you could do it also be with the foot, just like that. Also pretty easy. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much all it is for warm up. So as you can see, you know it's already getting better a little bit. Uh, the next shot I do usually is a speed shot. So what we're gonna do a few balls here, try to warm up on that. So that's already much much more difficult. The stuff I can miss. So we're gonna do. Six, uh, let's do three, six, let's do eight balls, all right? We're gonna do eight, it's pretty difficult already. So I'll try all these eight balls as fast as possible in the corner. There's one thing to see in the video, but to do it live, you know, it's much different. You also have to focus a lot, and then I try here. Let's see. I might hit it a few more times just to get warm up, but that would have been a good shot in the show. I'm gonna do a few more balls here. I'm gonna do what I have, which is seven balls. Should do. But just the same shot, just to kind of get into rhythm, see what I feel today. All right. This one all jumping it all too high. I'm not too worried because it's very easy to adjust. So that shot's good, so I don't really need to practice anymore. Now I'm gonna keep going. Uh, next thing I have usually is more of a uh, kind of the last warm up shot. So this shot works great on the nine foot table. A little tougher on seven foot because you got less room. But today on my practice table should be kind of a piece of cake here. So I don't need that one. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna do this here. Hit a few times. So usually it's a classic shot, so we call the rail jump. So I'm doing here is I'm just hitting the eight, go into the rail, eight goes in the air, I'm gonna try to catch the eight in the air. Uh, as you can see it's pretty simple for me, so we're gonna keep going. Let's do 15, 15 into the rail, 15 goes in the air, and then shoot the 12. So it's already much difficult. As you can see, I almost killed myself, but it's okay. It's normal for me. All right, let's try one more time. So basically what I gotta figure out now is how much you elevate the cue or less. So the 15 jumps into the rail. There you go, so that's good. So I figured out the adjustment. So what I was doing is I put too much angle. So now I'm putting less angle, it worked good. So that was pretty good, but we can do even better. So I'm gonna do is Hit the 15, shoot the 10 kind of slowly, and then grab the 15 and put it there before the 10. Okay, so that was good. Almost hit the ball. There you go. All right, so that usually kind of close up on the warm-up shots for me. Uh, if I do that pretty good like today, usually I got no problem for the rest of the show. But of course, on every table is different, so it's always more difficult or less difficult. So the next thing I do is uh, practice some masse. So I always start kind of easy because you don't know what the table is going to give you. Uh, you never know what's going to happen to you if the table plays short, long, if it's really difficult, if it's an easy table, if the balls are clean or dirty or you know, all these things. So first shot is uh, one of the classic, it's really a piece of okay cake too. So we call the machine gun massive. So I'm gonna do a bunch of balls there, just like this. 
I'm gonna make a line so they all frozen to each other, pull away from the rail. And I'm gonna keep making the line here. All right, let's do a 13 in the middle. And we're good to go. So in the championship, usually they put three balls and make a line a little shorter. I like to have it long so it gives me you know, more room to practice. Uh, if I hit that one good, I know I have no problem doing it in the show. So cue ball to the three, make the nine, cue ball come back, and basically every ball, make it turn to 13 ball last. All right, so that's a good hit. Pretty happy with that one. Now we're gonna keep going. So there was just a, a little shot, like I say, easy shot. Now depending on the table, at this point I already know what I'm gonna do. Uh, sometimes you know I'm feeling a good day and I can try something better. And sometimes I just don't even go for it. So here's one, for example, I'm gonna do nine and 10 here. And we're gonna do the same kind of setup. So it looks like an easy shot. It really isn't much, much more difficult shot than the one we just did. We're gonna do the same line of gold, just like that here. All right, let's do uh, one more, more, more. Let's do <coughs> one ball right here. And I'm probably gonna stay three balls here because it's a very difficult shot. So I'm gonna hit the cue ball into the 15. Uh, it makes the seven cue ball come back. It basically all the balls on the line. Hit the one that takes more spin. Go back to the nine to make the ten ball. So that's you know kind of like a if I'm in a good day show shot. There we go. Like I say, you know, my price table model was much easier than the, than the show because you never know what you're gonna get. So. If that works well in show, usually that's a really good sign because that's a very difficult shot. So now I can really start to go into the more tough ones. So let me do a three ball here. Right, so again, this is another shot that works really good on seven foot table. Nine foot table, much more difficult. What you're gonna do is you're gonna hit the cue ball here up the rail into the three, make the three, we'll come back, hit the two, make the nine ball. So very tough shot. Usually people really like the shot. All right, so that calls for an adjustment. So what I did is I hit too much on the rail. I need to go more straight. So that's just a simple aiming issue. One more try. So that is pretty good. So I almost missed it, I had a little too much left spin, but I still hit it so good, so it was great. Again, you know, if you play on seven foot, you got so much margin here that you're probably not gonna miss it. A nine foot table, I think it's more difficult, but this was a good shot. So usually when this is done, that's uh, you know, very good. And I can really go into much harder again. So this is the next one, is what I call the impossible shot, because this is probably the first shot I really can miss during the show. You know, even if I try 10 times sometimes, so I'm going to try it anyway. Uh, I did invent that shot a while back on the uh, 4 ESPN, Trick Shot Magic. It was uh, kind of game changer, you know, when people saw it, they thought it was uh, impossible. So we just called it an impossible shot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the one here, frozen to the cue ball, just like that. And uh, you're going to try to double kiss the cue ball to the one, cue ball goes here, around the triangle into the nine ball. Beautiful. All right, so 2018 seems like a good start for me. Not missing much, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, the rest of the things that I do for the show usually are a few set of shots that I don't need to practice because they're so easy, I really don't need to do much. It's just about knowledge, so I put like four balls or five balls for people. Um, got it up to like six balls in shot. I could probably do that one, five balls in shot. Let's do this. So sometimes this one's a little trickier to set up than, uh, than you think. Simply because uh, you know, every table I say is different and the throw and everything is different. Like this table right now is, uh, is 
very clean. I just, you know, covered it. I always clean my table after I'm done with practice, so it was still clean from last time. I'm gonna do this here. I'm gonna do this right here, so. Cue ball to the 13, make the five in the middle, so that's the orange. I make the 15 in the corner, seven in the corner, cue ball, drum back, make the six balls. So usually, pretty simple. It takes some adjustment for the seven balls usually. So I missed the seven, I think, on that side. I missed this ball, but I'm not too worried about that one. I'm more about the seven. So if I miss it here, that means I gotta move my line more this way. So that's very important to know. So that means you know my memory was a little better than that. But I'm not too worried. We'll just do it again. Here. Let's try that here. So I might move the seven a little bit here too. Felt like that ball was a little too much on that side. Let's see if that works better. All right. So I'm gonna move the 11 there. So that really is the important ball for me right now. Is this one? Let's take a second go at it. very close this time but I still think I missed it this way and most important I missed it this way again so I missed it on the left side here so I missed I have to hit fuller to make this so sometimes you know you don't know why you're missing a shot that's supposed to be easy like this would be what I call an easy shot that 99% of the time I'll never miss it but of course you know when you're doing it live you gotta be prepared of everything and that's really why it's so hard to be uh, you know Trick shot artist live because it's one thing to make it when you're on a video and you can just retake it and whatever. In this case here, you really gotta control all the variables and know what you're doing. So in that case, I already know my mistakes, so it should be fixed now. I just try it again. There you go. to get used to it but you know you realize your mistake you just gotta adjust for it so what happened is because the balls are so clean I uh, usually I put the throw here you have to adjust it way more to the natural angle which is very uncommon on the table usually you have to go more here but you know it's good that I missed it because now I you know if I play on a good table this weekend I'll know which way to go again and remember that uh, from there Usually I got a few different options. Uh, I think I have to look at my notes sometimes. Yeah, that's what I think. I think I'm going for usually the pretty difficult shots. Uh, I can't really do the exact shot I'm doing in the show, but I'm gonna try anyway something similar. So the shot I'm doing in the show is about a, a moving mass aid, doing it like that. Putting a triangle here, putting something there and uh, usually about here so in case you hit a little too hard on the rail you know you want it to kind of fly this way and not go back this way because it's still a very difficult shot so we're gonna do this here align the balls just like that and i just need a little piece of chalk or something here jump the ball So what I do in that shot usually is I put a person on the table, have a person holding the ball in the mouth and just kind of, you know, jump the ball out of the person's face, goes on the table and then mass here on triangles. In this case, we're just going to kind of practice from here, jump the cue ball over the stripes here, solids, whatever it is, roll here, try to mass it when it's moving to the 12 ball. So that's getting really difficult and that's where the practice is very important. You just can't go and, you know, guess for it. There you go, so I already made a mistake here. Gotta adjust that. Gotta hit it harder. As you can see, that was not good either. So what I did was I hit it too fast, so I have no chance to even catch the ball. So I need to adjust this line again. Make sure I'm 
going the right way. Let's see. Now still not good. All right, so sometimes you forget the shot, and this is exactly what I need to practice it. Let's try again. All right, so there was decent enough. I mean, I would have probably taken it in the show from practice. Not good enough. I wanted to really do the perfect thing without touching the rail there. That is pretty good. Not a spin. Gonna do one more time here. All right, too fast again. There you go. So that was about as good as it gets. Uh, as you can see, a much, much more difficult shot. So that's really why I need to practice these ones. You know, you gotta get used to your eyes again to adjust the speed. As much as you don't really forget how to shoot pull, you do forget how fast you gotta go and how the ball reacts a little bit. Uh, on all those moving things, so very difficult. Okay, I got another shot here that we need to practice, of course. So that was kind of a normal uh, moving masse. Then I got some double masse, so I'm gonna do this here. And let's do one more cue wall there. So that shot's kind of an old variation, let's say a new variation of a very old shot, so we call the Hustler Masse, because they had it in a movie called The Hustler in the 1960s. So you hit the ball, uh, you make the one here, and the cue ball mass along the long rail, hit the 10 ball. So that's pretty simple shot. So the way I do it is I change the, the game a little bit. So Hit the one, hit the cue ball to the one, make the one here, cue ball here. While well, it's still moving, and I re hit the ball to come back down to make the 10 ball. So, you gotta mass it twice when it's moving. Could be very difficult some days too. Alright, so I hit it perfect today, so I like it. So, I have a second variation of that shot. Um, I'm gonna do the same start. I'm gonna just put a couple extra ball in the middle here. So I wanna do is I wanna do the same thing, hit the cue ball, make the five cue ball, go along the long rail, shoot the 15, shoot the six, and then do the mass eight to make the 14. Could be difficult at days. We'll see. There you go, so that was not bad. I did have a little issue here that I'm not too happy about. I've got my cue that got uh, a little bit loose. I don't know how I did that. So I probably didn't have it tight enough, so that's a good thing again. You know, gotta remember always having material ready to go. So let's do a second try. Alright, so I'm gonna her. As you can see I missed the ball fully, which is you know it looks like an easy ball because you know it's straight from the hole, but it really is always harder than you think because you're moving so quick. You don't really have time to aim. All right, let's do another try here. So that was great. A little too fast. There we go. So again, you know, depending on the show, depending on the day, I might not even try that shot because you know, it's simply too hard or simply not a good day. here but I already know for a fact that if I didn't hit this thing it would have went up and back so I hit it as good as it gets so I'm already getting some of the uh, blisters on my hands it's uh, it's you know the way you hit the ball and everything so it's pretty brutal let's keep going a little bit here so there was a, a double mass on the long way so I got pretty much used to it again now we gotta do a double mass in the curve way, so that's very difficult as well because it's all feeling. So the more you practice, the better you get at it. But the less you practice, the more you kind of guess and don't remember exactly what you're doing. So this would be the one I'm afraid for today because I'm not sure if I remember correctly how to, you know, advise or play for it. So I'm gonna do a few tries, see what happened to it.
Alright, so the first mess it was perfect. The second one was lacking a little bit. Let's try again. Not bad, not bad. I'm actually pretty happy. Uh, I still don't feel like I feel it good enough, so I'm gonna try it again one more time just to make sure. That's even better. Okay, that's good, except I put the wrong spin, but I hit it anyway, and I missed it, sorry, so, back to square one, get this thing, there you go, alright, so I think, you know, I made it probably twice out of four or five tries, which is usually very good for this shot, happy with it, that means I can keep going, uh, all right, as far as I remember, the next things are a little more difficult. So we're gonna go to some stroke shots. Uh, let's see. Actually, you know what? I, think I forgot a shot. All right, so let's keep going on the... The way I do the show is I try to get some sort of a, a break a little bit at some points because, you know, you get kind of tired pretty quickly. I'm looking for my weight. Uh, that's the thing, when you're a trick shot guy, you gotta carry so many things. It never ends. Alright, so I'm gonna get a bunch of balls there. And this is very similar to the jump shot thing that I did before, except that this time we're gonna raise the bar and do uh, several balls instead of just one. So. What I need is this, so I need a cue here, just like that, and we're gonna jump over a shaft because some of the jumps are getting pretty difficult. Right, so I need all the balls there, I don't need that one, and most important I need a bunch of jump cues, so I'm gonna grab one here, second one there, just like that. And I need to find a few more. So as you can see, I got a bunch of cases. So one is my uh, trick shot case, which is that one. Then I got uh, my playing case for playing normal games. That's my wife's pool case, and that is my uh, carom cue case. So for you know the no pockets do your thing. So right now all I need is uh, five or six jump cues. So I'm gonna grab this here, so that's three total. Let's make it four here. There you go. Let's make it five. And apparently you got a six one in there, which is probably there for a reason. There you go. By the way, so if you like this jump cue, if you think that they're working great, which they really are, you're welcome to check them out on my website. Uh, I sell them for a very good price and they are the exact same one I use, so there's no cheat here, so, you know, as you can see, they're all the same. I got a box upstairs that I just, you know, keep using. So, a bunch of jump cues here, and I need to find my second glove, cover the rest of my hand. That does not look like it's the right one. All right, I'm gonna have some, some sort of issue here. I need a, a lefty glove, basically. Which I did not find right here, so I gotta come back right back. Find that lefty glove. All right, so if I don't have it there with all my stuff, I probably only have one in my uh, case. So I'm gonna look at it, see if I can find it. Let me see, you can move glove here. I see, there you go, I see a left-handed glove here. So the reason I do it is because I want to cover all my fingers and uh, you just don't have pool gloves that cover all your fingers really. It's, uh, it's not something that exists, so I found a solution with here. Just put a left-handed glove on my other hand and it works pretty good. All right, so back to the shots. So we got all the balls here. And so usually it's kind of a break shot, kind of you know, it helps me to recover from the other shot that were very difficult right before that. And uh, what I need to do here is uh, start with two balls. So I'm going to start with this, the one and the two in the corner. We'll see how that goes. 
Okay, pretty easy. Then we can try the chopstick shot way. So two cues, one hand. Still pretty easy. And then it's when it starts to get a little more difficult. So I grab three cues. And I'm gonna try to make the three, the four, the five in the corner down there. So Quarter triangle here is to help you because it's really difficult to end two walls. We're gonna see how that goes. So that's one of the shot I can start to lose a little bit. Okay. So as you can see at this shot, so you don't you have to hit the ball, you just have to put spin so the ball goes in there. And uh, then usually I keep going at this six, seven, eight, and nine. Uh, after three, I can't really aim for the spin anymore. So I need the uh, like a really big target, so that's the best way you can do really is to kind of open the pocket a little bit because you know there's some shots are just stupidly hard. This is kind of one of them. You just you know as much as you can hit the ball pretty accurately, you just cannot you know mass a four ball in one shot like that. So we're gonna do it. I'm gonna see how it goes. Six, seven, eight, nine. Which is pretty difficult. See, there we go. That's not bad. It works pretty good. And uh, usually it leaves me for the last shot. So we got 13, 14, 15, uh, 11. Yeah, I'm missing a ball here, missing the 12 ball. I'm not sure where it is, but it doesn't matter much. We're gonna do this here. So these five balls in the corner there. Alright, so five balls calls for five cues. Again, you know, this was one of the shots that uh, I did not invent it. It's a friend of mine, Jamie Gray, who invented it. But he did it a very different way. It's like very uh, heavy jump cues that he just kind of put on his arm. And he just kind of shot, you know, at once altogether. The way I did it, just kind of change everything again. It's just, uh, you know, what made it much, much easier to uh, to aim for it. So let's try this. Very difficult shot because you only have, you know, a few hands, like a, like a few space in your hands. You can't really use all of them. You got to cross two in there. So I'm gonna cross this two there. See how that goes. So fun words. Now I do have six cues because usually there's you know one guy that always think is smart and uh, calls for six ones and it's pretty much impossible. But I keep practicing because uh, one day I can make it really. So I'm gonna give a few tries to it. See how close I am to make it today. The problem with six is this is not even enough because you don't have enough room to really go. And you're gonna hit too high on the cue and it's not gonna fall down. So it really is all about trying to at least jump it. So I'm gonna try to jump it, see how that works. You know, for example, that would be maybe one of the shots you can see next year live without much mistake if I practice it really good. But at this point, you know, it's just uh, almost impossible. So we're just gonna try anyway. So six cues like that. I gotta cross three and try to basically lay them all out perfectly. Just like that. And really all I'm trying here is to try to jump all six. So as you can see, you know, there's a few problems here with the cross happen. Very tough. Let's try again here. So I missed two. Actually I missed all of them, but it's not bad. So it's like I say, you know, it's a very difficult shot. Going from five to six just makes it nearly impossible. Try again. Let's do this here. Three, six. All right, so I got to figure out what the problem was. So I think I just didn't jump two of the balls, which is actually not super bad. We'll see how that goes. I'm just gonna try to line them up a little bit differently. Just like that. All right, let's see. 
So my problem is really is the second cue here that keeps moving towards the right side. There's not much I can do except having it as close as possible to perfect when lined up. There you go. All right, so that is a pretty good shot. So like I said, you know, at this point I can't really make them yet because I can't put the left spin that's supposed to put them in there. But to just jump them is already quite a quite a miracle, honestly. So pretty happy with that today. And uh, I can keep going, really. So there was kind of a long little shot in the middle here that uh, I use, you know, for. Uh, uh, let's say kind of resting a little bit during the show. So that's good. Happy that it worked. I'm gonna keep going here. The other shots I have, they involve people on the table too. Uh, I don't really need to practice them. They're pretty simple. There's uh, one kind of a dangerous shot, but it's not too dangerous that I usually don't have a problem. All I gotta do is really just jump it about two balls high into the corner. So kind of like swish them into the hole there. Okay, so that wasn't bad, but I can just adjust that. There you go, that's one, two, and three. So yeah, it's usually right on because it doesn't bounce on the table as much easier to control. Then there's a big jump shot, which I'm just gonna use the shaft for it. I'll try to uh, really just jump the four off the table. Well, oh, that's not good. There you go, this should be pretty good. As far as I remember, so you know, short jump shots good, high jump shots good. Um, all right, let's keep going a little bit. I think the next part is the stroke shot now. So the next part is uh, one of the hardest part of the show, really. That's why I needed all this jump shot to kind of put myself back into, uh, you know, relax mode. The next one is pretty difficult, so. The first one will be a spin shot, so as you might have seen, I do have the Guinness Book for the longest spin using just, you know, one ball. So you could do it this way. So what I gotta do here is hit a few balls, just trying to make the ball spin and I usually try to go for my record. Like here, I'm not gonna go for it, but I can tell you, you know, approximately. Uh, if it was a good hit or a bad hit, I think that case was a pretty good hit. I'm gonna say over 15 seconds, we'll have to look. Uh, my record is like a 21 seconds, something like that. Can definitely beat that if we really try hard, but I don't really you know, care at this point. I'm gonna hit it one more time. See if I do better or worse. Okay. I mean, good strokes, important. And there's a second shot that you can do to even increase the spin by using, you know, more uh, more balls. Simply, it's basically the same exact uh, concept, but uh, you are able by using the weight of the second ball to kind of increase the spin. So I'm try for it. Just hit the nine. Same exact shoot, and. Uh, just hit it pretty good, pretty much on the side. There you go. So I don't know if you can see it, but uh, the ball is just spinning really fast. Again, you know, I'm not in practice. I don't need to really uh, check on the time to see what it is. I just need to feel the ball, try and see what's going on with it. This was a decent hit, so I'm happy with that. I don't really need to practice this shot, so we can just go to the next. I'm gonna let that ball spin out to see what's uh, you know what I can do with it but I think for sure this was over 20 seconds now the next shots much more difficult and uh, the nine will finally stops here so if you're checking the time you know let me know what it did but yeah the next shots much much more difficult so as much as this was kind of a you know kind of an easy shot all we gotta do is just practice it one time and then you're good this next shot here is very, very difficult. So what you do here is you put basically the cue ball close to the four, but not frozen, and try to make the four here and have the cue ball draw into the six to make the seven ball. So I have a tutorial on that shot. I uh, did it a year ago. 
uh, it's still a very difficult shot even if you watch a tutorial just you know you're gonna have to practice a lot and uh, yeah it's also one of the key shots in my show that you know if you miss if you don't hit it good that day it's gonna be very hard to make it so depends the day we'll see you all I gotta do here is split a little bottom uh, a little bit of right and uh, try to uh, just stroke it right away all the way through and really well Perfect on the first try, which is very surprising after I hadn't touched the table for a week and a half. I'm very happy with that. I'm gonna just hit it again just to make sure it wasn't a fluke. Uh, like clearly, you know, sometimes people think you just gotta hit it once, but actually, to really know a trick shot or a shot, you really have to hit it a million times before you really feel it. So I felt it good on the first try, which is very encouraging. I'm gonna try it again. And if I make it in the next three tries here, I'm probably good with it. Alright, it's not bad. Got a lot of line. Still very happy with the stroke that gets out of it. I didn't even put the ball, I don't really need it. All I need is the cue ball to touch the two. Because during the show, all I need is the cue ball to touch the two and the rest falls on. So. Let's see how to adjust that. There you go. Perfect. All right, so if I had my combo, I would have made it. I was training there, three good stroke. Can't complain that much about it. So that I'm very happy with. I'm gonna keep going here. That was a stroke draw. Uh, I'm gonna try a little follow here to see what's in there today. We're gonna do three, let's do a 11 ball here. And just do one. So, hard shot that it looks as well. Hit the cue ball into the one, make the one here. Cue ball go here, around the 11, into the three. All right, so this is again, you know, an adjustment to do. So I hit it too full. What I do is need to uh, go thinner. So I got a more on that side of the five. That was too fancy, I missed it there. First one I missed it here. So all I gotta do now is basically shoot right in between the two points I picked first. So you gotta really remember where you aimed. There you go. Uh, by the way, that's basically why you have usually three tries when you do trick shots, at least for pool because you're gonna try to either, you know, first try you're gonna miss it left or right. Second try you try to adjust it the other way. So you always, if you miss it left on the first, you always try to miss it right on the second. So you always, you know, over adjust because, you know, you wanna be basically right in the middle and sometimes, most of the time, you're gonna miss it left, right, and then you're gonna be right in the middle. Now, if you can also be right in the middle, first try is better, but, you know, that's, uh, that's part of the reason why you have three tries, just to kinda let you calibrate your shot. Now, this was uh, decently easy. I have another version of that shot that I do when I feel good as well. That I'm gonna try today, see where I stand at. Much more difficult, uh, but it's the same shot reversed. But instead of doing left handed, I'm doing it behind my back. So I used to do well, then I kind of lost a little bit the shot. And I uh, haven't practiced it much since, so I'm just gonna do it again. Perfect. Well, you know, there's not much you can do sometimes, you just uh, gotta remember how to hit it. Just gonna do it one more time just to make sure again, you know, that it wasn't just a lucky beat here. I don't even need the ball, I just need to see the cue ball. Yeah, that was too full, but it's still a good stroke. You know, as long as the ball is curving, I'm kinda happy. That means I'm putting the right spin, the rest is all aiming, which is easier to adjust. Good. Not worried about it anymore, so that's good. That's pretty much it for the stroke shot here. Um, the next thing I do for show is a uh, few more massy usually. So all I need is uh, find the right cue. So you know you've seen some jump, you've seen some massy. Usually for the rest you kind of go for 
some jump mass A, which is kind of a combination of the two. I need to find the other Q I had there you go. So jump mass AQ is a little bit of a different Q. So it's uh, like short, like a mass AQ, but a little shorter than it. And it's uh, lighter, kind of like a jump Q. The tip is uh, more of a soft tip, so it's not supposed to you know, miss Q so much. I'm looking for a triangle here. And there you go. So yeah, it's basically a combination of a jump Q and a mass AQ. And uh, at least the one I have works great. It's made my, by Mez as usual. First jump mass A, jubal jump over the triangle. It goes somewhere here, you know. Maybe, you know, if I'm in a good day, it goes here. Then it moves the draw back into the one ball. Let's see. Alright, so that was a great jump out. Very unlucky because, you know, the turn just turned, happened to turn right, bait the side pocket is. Apart from that, it was a very good shot. Just take one more try. Maybe uh, aim so the turn goes here or it goes here. So depending what I do, I'm gonna try to shoot harder or softer a little bit. I'm just gonna try harder. All right, so I tried too hard here. That's a little miscue, so I did touch the ball slightly before I hit it. There you go. That's the one I wanted on the second try. There you go. So, see the first try was here. So then I tried to hit it too hard, but I hit it you know, so hard that I focused too much on it and I kind of missed it twice. And then the last shot I did was perfect, it's about what I was supposed to adjust for. Uh, kind of safe, I'm going to do it again as well. You know, that really is the best of the process, just not to make it one time, it's to make it all the time, or as much as you can. There you go. So you're much more happy with that shot. Uh, I'm gonna keep going here. I don't need that. Uh, so before the end of the year, I was trying to kind of bring a new shot in, which is a very difficult one. I've been working on it before and then I stopped so I'm not sure what's going to happen with it. It's uh, basically the hardest part for me is to bring the new shot that I had in the videos into the show which you know, some of them which is really really difficult and some of them you know they adapt very easily and some of them are just really difficult like this one of those that are absolutely super difficult but I want to put it in the show for this coming year, so I don't have a choice, I really have to practice. So I need this, and I'm gonna need uh, another thing here. Where is this thing? Okay, so I'm looking just for a hand shape here, so as you can see the bowl is a little bit dirty, so we're gonna try to clean up a little bit. But there's nothing on the, on the hand shape, it's just normal. As you can see, I haven't changed cue ball or anything. It's just the same exact one. It's just when you start to be really dirty, it doesn't slide as much, so you wanna to try to avoid that. I got a ball cleaner here that as soon as my practice session is done, just put the ball back in the ball cleaner, let it run for half an hour, and usually pretty good. So this one is a uh, yeah, very difficult shot, so I'm gonna to try to um, jump over the line of stripes ball here. Goes into the long rail, back into the long rail, back there to the one to make the eight ball. So some days you know it works great, some days probably impossible. Let's see what we do here. Usually it starts by aiming there and then we'll see what happens. So it's a lot of left spin. Okay, so that is not a bad first try. Uh, as long as I'm doing that I'm pretty happy because I can control it. So all I need to do here is more backspin, simply. Okay, that was a bad miscue again. Gotta do it again. Okay, so that's pretty good. I adjusted it, but not enough. So I need even more backspin. Okay, so I didn't adjust the right way, I just the wrong way. 
So I'll probably hit it too hard too. That was a really good shot. Almost got it. Got a little unlucky here. Let's try again. As you can see, you know, it's a very difficult shot, like I said. There's not much you can do, you just gotta try, try. Not a miscue. See, those I'm not happy about. It's something you really can't control. As long as you're not making a miscue, you have a chance. A miscue just, you know, is very terrible. Okay, so that's another problem. So I tried to adjust here to go a little lower, but I forgot I had this there. So again, you know, it's a good thing I need to practice. At that time, it's probably like the fifth or sixth try already, which is not good, you know, that means I'm sure we'll be already in trouble. All right, that's another problem that I need to learn about. So if you lay out the speed of the, the jump shot, you're gonna hit the balls here, which is also not good. So that shot really has a lot of parameters I need to work on. It's pretty good. Can go somewhere with that. Ah, see that? I hit it perfect and it still didn't go because I hit it that side, still hitting that side. It's another thing I need to learn about. So I really have to hit it so good that it goes on this side. Not a miscue. Alright, so first shot of the day that's giving me problems. <sighs> Again, you know, I missed it barely. By now, I know if you're doing a show, you already gave up on the shot because you can't keep people entertained for that long. <coughs> My side here, I really need to figure out how to work it out. pretty good except I hit the balls it's getting close I feel it it's just not controlly not perfect control perfectly all right so that's good laid off the speed a little too less too much again right in between it's a little harder there you go all right so that was good now let's from now you know I can't just go with one shot out of ten like that. So I'm gonna hit it again and see if I actually found the right shot or if it was just kind of a lucky fluke. So from there I've been aiming here and it looked like it worked pretty good. Okay, so I hit it at the right spot again, just too hard, which is easy to control. Alright, so I think like I found the shot again, so now I'm happy. It took me a few tries, you know, to practice. Uh, basically, I was aiming a little too high first, and then on that shot, I guess a lot of the problem is the force. So if you hit too soft or too full or too hard, you're gonna have a big problem. So you really have to hit that good. Uh, you know, it might be a little early to put in the show, but I might try depending on my days. Let's go back to something more uh, natural for me. I'm gonna do more normal masse here, so <clears throat> one of the shots here really is just uh, you know you gotta make sure it's pretty easy because you don't want to miss too many in a row. So we're gonna go over here, we don't need any of those. We're just gonna put the nine ball here. Oops, miss the nine ball. Let's do a uh, one ball here. Just do one ball here, and I'm gonna grab a few cues to do what we call the Railroad shots. So railroad shots is uh, basically a very classic shot. Uh, the way they used to do it's very easy. You almost can't miss it. The way I do it though is much more difficult, but it should be acceptable. You know, as far as difficulty rating goes, for me to not miss this shot again a million times. So we're gonna do here. 
Q will go up, come back, up the Q, down the Q, makes the one in the side. Okay, so slightly too far. I just need a little more back spin. too hard. So that's a rare. I should be right on though. All right, too soft this time. I hit the rail a little bit too, but you know, if you're doing a show that's acceptable. In my case, practice, that would have to be perfect. Wow, too hard again. So that's another interesting problem. So I'll never Really hit this shot too hard, I usually hit it too soft, so we're just gonna focus on trying to hit the right speed. That's much better. There you go. Alright, so this worked, should have worked on the first or second try. So I'm gonna do it again just to make sure I did not forget how to shoot the shot. I think it was just a couple of bad luck factors here. Not too worried, let's try it again. As you can see, this is two in a row now, so pretty happy with it. Go back to the next shot, so you, know, you missed a tough shot, people understand. You make one pretty easy, much better for you already. And uh, now really you're gonna have to kind of try to finish the show in a good way, in a good spirit. So we need really some tough shots for the, the end which is always probably one of the toughest part of the show is to you know, finish that really well because you're already tired, you missed or you didn't miss much, it depends, you know, but either way, you still feel the pressure. You gotta finish and not miss as much as possible and the shots keep getting harder and you, you, you know, all your easy shots to get away, you kinda got rid of them already so you can't just pull easy shots now. It's just about good shots, solid shots, hard shots and uh, trying to make them as much as possible, so. This one here, for example, is what we call the satellite shot. Um, I tell people I'm the only one that's stupid enough to even try it live because really it's super difficult. Um, what you do here is you go cubo here, the long rail, into the short rail, into the long rail, go around the 8 into the 1 to make the 9 ball. Now it looks easy said like that, but it's really probably one of the hardest shots you can do in trick shots at this point, at least you know for live shows. Um, and that would be also one of the only shots in the show that I do and I allow myself more than two, three tries, something like that. Uh, this one, you know, might go up to like 10 tries simply because it's such a hard shot and so delicate to, you know, hit it perfect. Uh, that you gotta really get a little bit of luck too. And the next thing is that people really appreciate the shot because it's so difficult so they don't put as much pressure to you as another shot would be. So let's see, satellite shot, let's see what it does today. Very, very tough shot. Okay, so that's a good start. Um, pretty happy with it, I just didn't have enough left spin. Some more extreme left spin. That was good. Uh, most likely slightly too hard, so we have to shoot that a little softer. Just like that. Wow, okay, so I got a little bit of bad luck here. I hit it too much on the thin side from the one ball, but it was basically in. I was this third try already, so I still have a few more that I you know would allow myself to, so I'm okay with that. That is not okay, so that's a bad miscue. Try to avoid that as much as possible. Okay, that's another common mistake for me. So I just aimed too much um, on this side of the rail and it just clips the one. A uh, very common mistake, the one that I need to avoid for sure. Let's try to focus a little more here. Okay, that was terrible again. Very bad shot.
okay, that was good. Except that I didn't push hard enough, so not enough left spin. Also good, not enough hard, I mean not enough soft though. So I've got to hit it a little softer, I'm having trouble today, I hit it too hard. Again, way too hard. Way too much on that side. Alright, so now it's starting to worry me a little bit. Should have played that a few shots ago. And that's why you're practicing really, because you don't know, you know, how you're gonna play that day. Gotta make sure you're controlling the shot. There you go. All right, so I'm not sure how many tries that was, but um, it was some good tries, it was some bad tries. So I'm just gonna do one more time, just to make sure it wasn't just a fluke on the last shot here. Um, I've kind of forgot how to play this shot, let's say, for the last two weeks, so I'm just gonna hit it again, see you know, how many times I can make it. I'm not as worried anymore because I feel like I found the right spot to hit on the cue ball. Back again. Just too hard. Too much side spin. There you go. Alright. So at this point, you know, I figured the shot back again, so I made it in, you know, in two tries on the second round here. Pretty happy with that. Very difficult shot. So, you know, you miss it. This might be one of the shots I'm going to miss in the show. So I'm pretty happy overall with you know, the results out of, a, let's say, 10 try. Um, Alright, nice shot. So usually if that one works good, it's very much, uh, you know, it's very much a winner shot here. We're going to keep going and do a few more. Uh, Good shots to finish the show. Let's do one here, eight there. I'm gonna need a cue here. I'm gonna need the second cue ball too. So there we go. We're gonna take one there. It's also fresh up the ball cleaner. And I'm gonna need two cues, just like that. So this is a kind of an interesting shot I invented too. This is what we call now the crisscross twin masse. Uh, basically, you know, some people invented uh, two jump cues, jump shot, and I came up with uh, two masse cue jump, uh, two masse cue you know, shot. So as much as two jump cues is pretty simple to learn, two masse cue is a whole different animal. It's very difficult. So we're gonna try. It's a nice shot, however, when it works. So two cue balls. I'm gonna grab a second glove again. If I find it out there. Now, where's my second glove? See, that's the life of a trick shot artist. Always looking for your stuff. There you go. And uh, I'm gonna need also another mass AQ here. So I got that in my trick shot bag again. Pull it out right here. There you go. So that is partially why you need so many cues too. As you can see, you know I have six jumps you do carry. I have a couple break cue, drum mass AQ, two mass AQ, a plank cue, uh, a couple extra shafts just because you know you're gonna break a lot of things. So it really is quite a bit of thing to carry. Alright, so let's see what we can do here. One ball there, eight ball here, two triangles, and two mass AQ. We'll hit the two balls at the same time. The one with the dots go here, the other one goes here. So they're basically gonna crisscross in the middle. Again, you know, easier said than done. Even though there's a lot of, you know, let's say helper things here, it is still a very difficult shot to do. see I get it pretty good but like I say you know the helpers don't make the shot by himself so you've got to do it again because I hit the ball on the left side is slightly too hard 
There's not much you can do. You really have to control as much as you can. I'm just gonna do it again and uh, put a little more side spin on that uh, chivo with the red dots. At this point, you're really going towards the end of the show. I might just, you know, add a few shots if people request anything. I usually go for whatever you guys have seen in the video. I try to do it. So some shots are just simply, you know, impossible uh, to do it in a few tries. Some are just pretty easy. It really depends, you know. The show I do is kind of a mix of everything I have in mind. So jump, massive, double jumps, you know, double massive, two cues, five cues. And uh, you can only do so much in the, in the time that you're being low. So, usually by the time you yeah, do the last shot. So, last couple of shots, I usually go for a masse and then a jump shot. So, the masse, it's uh, the tough one. Depending on the day, you either go for you know an easy version when you put a triangle or a Q, or you actually go for a very hard one. Kind of like what I'm going to try here. And uh, I usually put a person there to go around the person. So we'll go around the person into the one here to make the nine ball in the corner. So again, it will look simple in the videos. It's a whole lot of things to do live. So we're gonna see what we can do today. Just gonna try to aim like you're banking pretty much. There you go. All right, so see I got it on the first try here, which is very good. You know, sometimes if you don't feel it, you gotta put like, a bigger target here, and that's about it. Um, now, it, you know, it would be a very good end of the show. And uh, usually the very last shot, I do uh, a jump shot. If you watch the Do It Perfect video, I do the, the you know, one of the trust shot there. I kind of call it the nut shot if you prefer, so I shoot ball into a shoe and, uh, you know, kind of aim for that. Uh, it's very hard to practice this one here. So I won't do it. All I'm gonna do here is just try to do a few jump shot off the table and see uh, how much distance I'm getting, see if I lose a little bit of distance or not. All I'm doing here is basically aiming towards my couch and uh, you know, see what's happening. There's not much to see. There you go. Yeah, pretty good. You know, I think it's all uh, it's all in the in the stroke and the day, the, the moment, how tall the person is and how far they go, so it's really not much you can hold, you really gotta go on the spot, on the mow, and just do it. Alright, so that's pretty much how uh, my practice session goes. Remember, if you have any questions, just let me know. Um, I'll try to answer everyone. Uh, any question on the cue, the material, the gloves, whatever I'm using, just let me know. Um, I'm gonna try to do another one of this uh, vlogs next week, after the show, kinda keep you posted on what happened and uh, we'll see what else I can practice for next week and uh, keep in touch. As usual, remember if you haven't subscribed yet, just go ahead, subscribe and uh, turn, off, turn on the notification button. Uh, a lot of videos coming up, I'm gonna try to post like two, three times a week, at least two times a week I think from now on and uh, really try to teach you guys how you, know, you can get better pool and uh, what you can get out of it. All right.